Well, the heat just keeps on coming for Mark Kirk. Today, a small group of veterans demanded an apology for his embellishment of his military record. Kirk has acknowledged making misstatements when referring to his record, including claiming to have won an individual award that was really part of a group honor. He's apologized in some media interviews. The vets say he should be apologizing directly to them. What we're doing is calling on uh, Congressman Kirk, who has an honorable record as a Navy Reserve Officer, to apologize not just to the newspapers, but to the veterans as well. Another veterans group that was stepping up in favor of Kirk, the political action committee called Vets for Freedom, today endorsed Kirk in the Senate race. It says Kirk has a rare level of experience on national security issues and that he has stood up for veterans' benefits. Political analyst Tom Serafin is here. So is there something that Congressman Kirk can do to put this behind him? Has he mishandled it from the beginning? Well, I don't, I don't think he handled it right at all. I mean, here he is, got a distinguished military record, and then he's trying to exaggerate something that most people would, would love to have if they're running for office. He's really put this race back into the competitive column, and the, the Democrat, Alexei Giannoulis, is right in the race with him. If, if, you, if you are the front runner, why would you need to exaggerate? And my question now is, does this open him up to all kinds of scrutiny from all media, and he's going to have to address these kind of things throughout the entire campaign. He, he does, and he will. People will look through his resume, look through his issues, examine him, and go under a microscope and really take a hard look at this guy. But the, the reality is, that's the question that's going to dog him all the way to November 2nd. Some have you're, said you're absolutely right. Some have said he's turned a positive, his record, into a net negative right. by this by this experiment. Right, it's the but, envy of anybody in Congress. Right, but Alexei Giannulli has had a real negative coming into this race, right. and that was the family bank, which failed, and he keeps, you know, distancing himself. Like, I wasn't there during those years. I was the state treasurer. So is he now on equal ground, or is he still dealing with that well, issue? Well, Alexei, that's a different issue. That the, the perception is, based on editorial boards and what the opposition is saying, that's an issue of competence. He ran in 2006 on the fact that he ran a bank, he knew how to be state treasurer, and then the bank exploded and allegedly it's made uh, questionable loans to questionable characters. That's a different issue. One is about integrity, the other one is about competence. So who has the upper hand right now? Whoever becomes more human down the stretch, whoever is more honest and straightforward and strips themselves, gets down to the soul. But has anyone been itself. honest up to this point? And will it matter neither, in a couple of months? Neither candidacy is positioned to win this race. We were talking earlier before we went on the air, an independent candidate could, could really go places Somebody in this race right now. Somebody could jump in right now. Right. What's good name ID could really make a race of it. Unfortunately, Not that suggestion, but, but, but <laughs> one of these guys, you know, is going to have to step out of them shell, out of his shell, out of his candidacy, and be real. I mean, it's like going out with somebody. You want somebody who's real, not somebody who's telling you, I have this big car, I have this big job. But who is real? Who really understands themselves and the people of Illinois? Sure. That Don't person will get we elected. We never will know that about anybody running for office, but hopefully we In can. this race, because of what's going on, they have to do that in order to win. And if Mark Kirk has come a little bit of that way, Alexi has gone a little bit, but neither one has stripped themselves of Tom, it. Tom, sir, we have to end it there. All right. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in tonight. So after grilling 10...